all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back updates and information as to the heart in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that when our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them all right let's go down to the news proper as in the heart you don't share um, the matter where we say a consign MFL and the things where we say it they happen there, uh, I don't they look carry uh, mind put in that, that particular matter. I say, hmm, <laughs> so you know, get a CB where it never be before for this matter, uh, because um, every one of us know as it be for this nation. Meanwhile, make a carry you go for the full detail of that information, make you see as that uh, particular matter they be. According to the information where we say it there for my table, they say MFL collected bribe before awarding contracts. Now SCB and staffs now then they testify this particular testimony against MFL. Oh well, meanwhile I'm not against the roasting uh, that is going on uh, against uh, Mazi uh, MFL and his people. Uh, because a lot of things happened in 2023 around this time around january 2023 between december and and january uh, the people of the NIG country suffered a lot in the hand of the man called mfl but my question is why is mfl the only one that is being roasted in that particular administration what about the former president what about the former vice president what about the other other people where we say they follow for that particular uh, government will make uh, that government waiting uh, EB today now waiting a one uh, carry my mouth put why is it that they themselves are not being roasted uh, as MFL and um, other people are being uh, roasted um, at this time now when I say uh, EB like saying a tribalism 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 Nine the warriors for this nation. Make I carry you go for the full detail of the information. According to the information, what we say there for my table, they say Ayo stated this while testifying before Justice Raman also the on Monday in the ongoing trial of former central bank governor on allegation of abuse of office and accepting gratification to the tune of 4.5 billion United States dollars and 2.8 billion Nigerian naira. I have stated this while testifying before Justice Raman. I have said that is that is how he operates. He will not award contracts without collecting anything. While being led in evidence by counsel to the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, senior advocate of Nigeria, Yotimi Oyedepo, the witness narrated how he collected some money on behalf of the former CBN governor. He said that the first money he collected was 400,000 United States dollars, which MFL, MFL's assistant John Adetola came to his office in Lekki to collect for MFL. I also told the court that the second money he collected for MFL was another 200,000 United States dollars, which was brought by one of the CBN contractors to the headquarters of the bank at its Tinibus Lagos Island office. He said that the money was contained in an envelope and when the person who came to deliver the fund, one victor was on the premises of the bank, he, I called the governor MFL, who told him to collect the money from the vendor as he did not want to see any third party. I said when he went into the office to deliver the package after collecting it, he saw several bank CEOs, including the late Herbert Nguye, who were waiting outside the office of the governor to see him. While answering questions under cross-examination from senior advocate of Nigeria, Olale Kin Ojo, who represented the former CBN governor, the witness denied that he had ever been a party to any crime, but admitted that he had facilitated the commission of a crime unknowingly. He said, I believe I did admit in my statement that I was forced to commit the crime. I don't know the exact word I used in my statement, but I say we were all forced with tremendous pressure to bend the rules. The witness also admitted that he did not write in his statement to the EFCC that the monies were given to influence the award 
of contract but added that this is how he nfl operates he will not award contracts without collecting anything <laughs> We don't see how they happen for that matter where you say, hey, cause I am a fele, am a fele, while I am a fego. <laughs> oh, say, Tiela, um, I say, you know, get a CB, uh, where it never be before, uh, because, uh, waiting they happen for the Obodo now, uh, and I waiting never happen before. Meanwhile, let's go to the matter where you say, it they happen for Enugu, for Nimbo. Uh, they say Enugu governor visit Nimbo commiserate with victims of headsman attack. As see the video, they say the governor of Enugu state don't visit Nimbo community to commiserate uh, with the victims of the attacks of headsmen. Uh, where we say they go for that particular area. Now there, yeah, they go scatter people where we say that they live for that particular environment. Uh, some of them lost their lives. Some of them lost their properties. Uh, some of them lost. A lot of things that belongs to them and the governor has gone there to commiserate with them and my question is is it all about commiseration is it that the governor has commiserated with them uh, what about uh, what is the compensation uh, what is the plan of the government in alleviating that particular situation that is ravaging nimbo community in enugu state uh, what are the plans of the government in order to be able to uh, salvage that particular situation that is ravaging that community because a lot of lives has been lost in that community not only today not only now in the past years the the Fulani headers have really oppressed that particular community called nimbo in enugu state and the question is what is the government doing uh, because the governor can visit the people and commiserate with them uh, without having a proper plan on how to salvage that particular situation and this is not the first time this is not the second time neither is it the third time that people of nimbo in enugu state are experiencing such a scenario such a scene such such a bitter and um and what, what how do i put it such a, a bitter and very awful moment for the people of that community i say may the soul of the disease rest in perfect peace in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. Another thing is that uh, the, the the government of this nation has actually taken the lives of the people for granted. But one thing they should know is that um, uh, another thing is that um, um, so if these people are doing all these things let them be guided uh, because posterity posterity is watching uh, he that is feeding himself with the blood of another uh, will surely pay with his own blood let's go to that information make you see waiting to happen for that side they say enugu state governor pitamba has visited ugu ijoro nimbo community uzu a local government area of the state after it was attacked by hetzman recall that we had reported the headsman left many dead and others critically injured in the attack. Residents stated that headsman attack mourners at Ugu Ijoro Nimbo community, killing four people instantly. Although some residents say four corpses had been recovered, the community has formed such parties as so many people are currently missing. During his visit to the community on Monday, the governor stated his administration's resolve to identify track capture the culprits and bring them to justice while describing the attacks as malicious and unacceptable to us as a state in a series of tweets late monday the governor tweeting at, at mr mba at pn mba on x.com stated i was at nimbo community in uzuwani enugu state earlier today following the attack that claimed four lives this disturbing attack saddens me greatly it is malicious and unacceptable to us as a state, and we shall do all we can to identify, track, capture the culprits, and bring them to justice. Our primary purpose as government is to guarantee the security and the welfare of Ndienugu, and that we must do so. We do not want our people to live in fear. Therefore, we will continue to deploy everything within our powers to ensure that they are protected. Mba said he is not the request. He is noted the request of the people and their demand for representation in his administration. 
The governor promised that the state government would cater to the needs of the affected families, adding that scholarships, award and employment opportunities will be offered to the children and family members of the victims. His tweet read, to my dear people of Dinimbo, I deeply empathize with you. I have noted your recommendations and requests, including the need for representation in government and the strengthening of local security resources. This will be addressed as promised. I assure you that we will not abandon you. Our government will cater to the survivors and families of the victims of his attack. We shall award scholarship to the children of the victims and offer employment opportunities to their family members in need of jobs. But more importantly, let it be known that we will never have to go through this again. Enough is enough. And meanwhile, this one is coming from Governor Pitamba of Enugu State. He said that Ndi Enugu will never have to go through this particular thing again. According to him, he said that enough is enough. And that is to say that um, fire and rumble is about to come down as Pitamba has roared like a lion uh, in Enugu State concerning what just happened in Nimbo community. And he, according to him, he said that he empathized with the community and he has promised them that he is going to get someone to represent them in that community. And also he is going to be awarding scholarships uh, to the affected families. And he has also promised to take care of the affected families. And my question is, these promises, are they going to be fulfilled or is it going to be just like uh nigerian promise and political promise meanwhile this is where i'll be winding down the curtain and if this is your first time of joining us on this marvelous channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification buttons so that whenever our news drop you will be the first one collector thank you for listening god bless you